Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Pocket Ants, the game where you get to watch your mum eat mushrooms and poop out your little brothers that turn into bigger brothers and then turn into ants. And then before you know it, if you head outside, there's thousands of us. Well, there's not, there's actually 123 of us, but you get the point. All right, so last time it was the anniversary event. I'm not sure if that's still going on. Do I click this to get a cake? Oh, I have to buy it for 650 gems. Well, we don't do pay to win here, so no. I will claim my free honeydew, though. So if we go into that honeydew shop, we can spend that. These are like permanent upgrades. So I'm going to spend one on this, which gives us more honeydew per aphid. And one on this, which makes my worker ants move 10% quicker. And as we've still got 75 honeydew left, I'm probably going to buy one more. I guess we'll make our soldier ants stronger. So now we have no honeydew left. We've spent it all. But first, a massive thank you to Apex Gaming PCs for sponsoring today's video. We've teamed up to bring my own custom line of PCs that I actually helped to create. Now, I won't lie, these pre-builds do cost more than building your own PC. But it takes all the hassle out of it and you know it's been set up properly. The reason I've always chosen pre-builds myself. So if you're thinking of joining the PC Master Race, consider checking out my line at the link below. And if you use code ENGINEER, you'll get a 5% discount. Thanks Apex for supporting the channel, but let's get back to some destruction. But if we check out the map in the bottom right, they are aphids. That's where we can get more honeydew. But first we have a slight problem in all of our ants are doing naffle. So I'm going to head up to the top left via this cupcake which i will gather Ooh, 47 leaves oh and apparently via another cupcake thank you gather that 15 seeds and then we're over to this leaf so we're going to press the source button and then if you check out our map we have a swarm of worker ants heading over to it where we're located you can see me clapping cheering them on look here they come here they <laughs> there's so many i don't like that <laughs> We've got nine idle workers, so we've got to get them on something. So first off, let's press the colony button and see what we want to upgrade today. I mean, if we upgrade the food processing chamber, we can have 110 worker ants. That requires a thousand leaves, uh, which we can store a thousand leaves, thankfully. Uh, but first, I think the leaf storage chamber, let's upgrade that because then we can hold 1500 leaves. And we'll also do the seed storage chamber because that means we can hold 500 seeds. We've only got 250 at the moment. And once we get 350, we can upgrade the queen's chamber, which means she produces level four soldiers, meaning we can destroy everyone. So meanwhile, my workers, I'm going to set them all to collecting just leaves. So we've got 82 on there. We're going to quickly claim this quest. So we get 75 mushrooms and 40 seeds. Oh, and if we scroll down, oh man, we get, we're getting everything. 75 leaves, 20 seeds. And then whilst we're up here, you can see, did you see top of the screen? There was a praying mantis getting pretty close. I'm going to press this recruit button. And if we check out the map, you'll see there is a large army of soldier ants coming towards me. Uh, ah, ah, better run, better run. The, the mantis has spotted me. Yeah, run away. Oh, you bastard. Right, I'm not standing for that. I've just been eaten by a praying mantis. Thankfully, I've been reborn as another ant. So as we leave, you can see all the other ants. They're bringing the leaves back here, storing them nice. But I'm heading up here with my soldier girls. We are going to destroy that praying mantis. I attack. Attack. Eat it. But yes, it looks like we have just about defeated the praying mantis. Now we get to decide, do we want to kill it? Because if we kill it, we can gain some insect parts, which we only have 34 of at the moment. And we can use that to upgrade our colony. Alternatively, we can capture it, uh, which I'm going to do. So the ants carried it to the creature chamber. So let's head back to our creature chamber. So we just go into our hole and then down the bottom, I think right down here. Yeah, there we go. Here is the praying mantis being captured and <gasps> it's been added to our army. So if we go into our army, you can see we have a load of creatures already. We have the emperor scorpion, the legendary super rare scorpion we caught last time. Uh, we also have two mantises. Now, there is this fuse button, which I'm not entirely sure how it works. I'm going to press it. Select two units. So can I, like, merge these? Surely I can't merge, like, a scorpion with a mantis. That would be, like, the most deadliest creature that's ever lived. Right, fuse. Units must be of same species. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so we're going to try and fuse two praying mantises together. Oh, and it makes a two-star mantis because they're both one star. And the success chance is 75%. We can spend gems to increase that percentage. But that's pay to win. And we will not be doing that here. Right. Views. Come on. 75%. That's... Yes. So now we have a level 2 Mantis. 
And we also completed a quest for fusing a creature, which means we get those 15 insect parts back. Oh, thank you all. All right, so next up, we're going to head to the bottom right. We're going to get those aphids. Now, you can see there's a lot of fire ants protecting them, so I'm going to have to wait for my army to arrive. Unfortunately, I can't use my new praying mantis and scorpion. We'll have to use them in a bit when we press this battle button. That will allow us to battle other ant colonies. But for now, we need we need some aphids, so let's, let's head in here. Ah, ah, he's after me. That's it. Bite his ass. Bite his ass. Nice. <laughs> my ants are so good at biting asses. Right, and now we've destroyed all of them. The aphid farm has been conquered, which means some of our worker ants have come over and they're taking the aphids back and they will convert these into honeydew. Yeah, and because of our upgrade we bought earlier, we'll get we'll get more honeydew per ant now. So we've got to try and keep all of these. There's 10 to protect. There's waves of fire ants coming in. Thankfully, we're very good at biting their asses, which hopefully means we can defend all of them and max the amount of honeydew we take. Right. At the back, at the back. That's it, that's it. Bites his ass. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. All right, there's one coming from the front. Quick, get round his back. <laughs> okay, so I think we've pretty much defended these now. There's one more fire ant coming. Oh, he did not stand a chance. He actually got bit in the face. Uh, so you can see, if we head into our colony, the ants, they are coming into the aphid chamber. And they're, they're turning the aphids into honeydew. I'm sure it's a very unviolent process. Quite gentle on the aphids. I wouldn't worry about what's actually happening. But nice. And now we have... Oh, 20. We already have 20. We can't even buy anything for 20 honeydew. Uh, uh, that was a waste. All right, and now you can see all my worker ants there. They're swarming the colony. That is because we've actually depleted that leaf. Now, thankfully on the map, because there's a tree up the top, that's dropping leaves all the time. So we're just going to head to the closest one, which is here. Press that source button. And then all my ants will come over. I should probably help them, actually. If I press gather, you can see, look, I'm cutting out a bit of leaf. And there you go, I've got it. I'm going to carry this back. Because uh, that's definitely going to make a difference to all those ants. I mean, we're a team. We've, we've got to help each other. So this just goes down the hole. We come into here. And then we drop it on our leaf pile. Oh, we don't actually have to stay there when we're destroying the leaf. We can... Oh, we're free. I'd wasted so much time waiting. I'm an idiot. All right, and now you can see the rest of the ants are coming. Look how many leaves are coming in. They are filling up our hole big time. All right, next up, as, as it is now morning, I want to go take out the red ants. Because uh, although they're sort of doing their own thing over there, they're, they're still a bunch of architects. So let's recruit the army. And look over here, they're trying to collect seeds. Well, not, a, not today, because these seeds are ours. They belong to the black ants now. So if I press this button here, that will mean my new soldier ants, all the ones back at base, they should come over here and protect the seeds. Meanwhile, I can head to the right a bit. And with these ants, we can take down their leaf supply. So there is a leaf here and we can annihilate them, which means we're cutting off both their food sources. You can see my soldier ants up there protecting the seeds. We're currently here, and it is an absolute bloodbath. Oh, they've sent up the soldiers. They have sent up their soldiers. Thankfully, we've still got quite a lot. We've got 13. And you can also see on the map, they've sent some soldiers up to the seeds as well. I don't think they're going to survive. We've got quite a lot up there. So there is a fierce battle going on. Who is going to end up the victors? Well, there's not a lot of movement up there anymore. I think we may have won. In the top right, you can see how many red ants are remaining. There's 45. I'm going to recruit a few more soldiers so we get 15 in our army. And then we're going to head down. We're going to take over the colony just as night settles in. They're going to be heading to bed, but they're going to be rudely awoken. All right, nice. Now we sneak into their colony. All right, we're working our way down. We know somewhere down here is going to be the queen. Oh, yes, there she is. She's just given birth to a load of soldiers. Well, unfortunately for you, we're taking them down. Shall we spawn kill some newborns? <laughs> is that weird? <laughs> I thought that's a little bit weird. Oh, oh, look, top left. We got a thousand leaves, which means let's just click on this colony button. We can we can upgrade the food processing chamber. It's going to take six hours. Damn it. Anyway, that's good. That is upgrading. So is that. So is, oh man, everything's upgrading. I may as well upgrade this and use my seeds up. Yeah, and now we've just got to kill the red ant's mum. Now, sorry mum, my mum is the best mum. You're, you're just, you're a tier two mum. You're not tier one. So attack, that's it. Eat her, eat her ass boys. And there we go, completed. The red ants have been defeated. Uh, which means a couple of things. It means we've got a daily quest completed. Oh, we've actually got two. Defeat 10 fire ants, we get 50 leaves. And conquer the red ant hill, we get 50 seeds. Uh, it also means we've got an exclamation mark down here. What does this mean? <gasps> 
Yes, we can get another legendary creature. So we got a thousand bits of cake. Now there isn't cake anymore. So I guess this is the last one I can get. But we will press the attract button. And then if we head outside, you'll see on the map, there is the Emperor Scorpion. It's a bit of a beast. So ah, careful guys, careful, careful, careful. Oh God, they're being, they're being slaughtered. Now we're going to head over here and I'm going to recruit some more ants. I don't know what direction they come from oh no they're coming from the base they're coming from the base quick quick we've got to head this way otherwise the scorpion will end up in between ah, ah quick guys oh i've just i've made them all get slaughtered run run okay we're good we we got a bit of distance between us and them yeah i'm gonna disband the ants up the top so you can see they're all going back to base which means once this fills up i've got another got another flag thing i can put down which just means i can lure some more ants closer so i guess let's let's go in and take out this emperor scorpion because we don't want to wait till nighttime because this thing glows in the dark at nighttime. Right, go on then. I'm gonna. Oh no, it's gone blue already. It's gone nighttime. No, it's stronger at night. Yes, we got more ants coming over. Attack. Get involved. Get involved. None of them biting its ass. It's like its ass got a stinger or something. Yes, we've defeated the scorpion. So let's capture it and then we'll disband our soldiers. They're heading back to base with the scorpion. I'm gonna head up here because I just want to make the seed a source for a second. So we'll press source on that and then we'll drop a few leaf boys down and tell them to go to the seeds. Why do I keep calling ants boys? They're girls, Matt. They are girls. Uh, nice. And then the scorpion has been added to my army. So if we go on to army, I guess we could either have two emperors or we could try and fuse them. Now it is a 75% chance of fusing. I don't know. I don't know what happens if it doesn't work. Like, do I lose both of them? And I'm not entirely sure how one level two scorpion could possibly be stronger than two level ones but i guess it must be oh what is this there's a creature lab i can upgrade my animals to be stronger faster and faster that takes a lot of creature parts right i know a good way to get additional resources is to do some battles so i guess we'll go attack some some players does it cost three battle tokens how many battle tokens do i have oh i think i have three it costs one okay got it right we've got 29 soldiers in our army we've also down the bottom we've got the these three buttons so we can spawn our emperors our mantis so yeah let's get them all involved oh look at this this is a hell of an army so we are taking on these guys oh they got a big old tarantula there all right that's it guys get involved attack attack that tarantula sting it in the ass yes it's dead we got all the ants to take out there they're very blue these ants i thought red ants were bad but there's there's blue ones after me all right nice their numbers are diminishing big time there's only 30 of them left now, there's a few running away get them boys i mean girls that's it that's it nice okay sweet we're gonna head into the colony now so we're downstairs all of our creatures have come in as well they're trying to they're trying to move seeds it's not happening for you guys you're getting you're getting annihilated quick there's a few stragglers they're trying to they're trying to store some leaves not on my watch right and now we've just got to try and head in here without being mullered ourselves now this is tricky there you go there you go they're in they're in all right attack attack take them down i think we're destroying the queen we're destroying their tarantula and mantis we're destroying everything yeah there you go ant queen you're getting stuck you're getting clawed you're now getting anted in the ass and we've done it we got a victory we get three pheromones which we can spend on spawning new creatures but not only that i bought joy and prosperity to my clan architect suck which when you scroll through these you can see i'm, I'm clearly the worst like like this guy here has 32,000 resources. I have I have zero to my name. <laughs> I wonder what these guys talk about in the chat. Anyway, let's have a look. The chat we got yesterday. Nice. Okay. I mean, I thought our war cry was G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon. But no, apparently it's um just pee pee. I'll tell you what I can do. I can I can I can be a bit cheeky. I can use my I can use my status if you like to try and ask for some food. Give me mushrooms. Give me leaves. Oh, I've, I can only ask for one thing. Okay, I've asked for food. Give me some food. All right, so I've just gone through. I've upgraded everything that I can. Uh, it's all going to take a bit of time. So we'll probably come back like tomorrow or something. Uh, but I think first, we're going to grow our army. Because look, we can have up to 50 soldiers. I'm slacking here. I'm slacking big time. We've only got 18. Which means I've got to slide down the leaves and crank up the food. Because we need food to create our army. We're then going to get tempted to buy gems rather than wait. Yeah, but then we can attract some creatures. Now, I don't know. I don't know how to get the gold, gold pheromone. Do I click this button? Not enough rank. Raise your rank to get golden and platinum pheromones when winning a battle. Okay, so I think I've just got a battle. This game's turned into Clash of Clans, apparently. Yeah, but I don't know if I convert pheromones or do I just want to keep gaining creatures? I, I, I can have like a massive army of creatures. 
I can gain two more. Shall I do that? So we've just spawned a new creature. Oh, Professor Oak's back. Next time you defeat a creature, you can capture it and make it join your army. Yes, I know, mate. Get with the times, man. But uh, we're going to try... Oh, God. We're going to try and take out this Mantis. I don't know why I'm trying to attack. I mean, my army's not here yet. Let's wait for the army to arrive. There you go. Okay, come on, my soldier ants. we gotta, we got to try and get around the back of it. All right, then attack. Attack. That's it. So if I just stay away from the pointy end, the front... Ah, hopefully it shouldn't kill me. All right, nice. We got another Mantis. Let's capture that. It's like a red scorpion. I want... Does this one glow at night? I see... Yeah, it's not... Oh, God. Oh, it's fast. It is fast. All right, attack. Attack. Take it down. I think it's just a normal scorpion. It's after me. <laughs> it's not an emperor. Oh, yeah. These three guys, they know. Ah, oh, that was genius. They distracted it, and now everyone's eating its ass. Everyone knows the ass is a weak spot of a scorpion. That's why it's got a stinger on it. All right, so now we're going to capture that. Claim a load of quests. Eat a cupcake. And then I'm going to wonder, if I were to fuse a two-star and a one-star mantis... Oh, no, they must be of the same level. Okay. Well, I guess we can head into the battle menu, and I might just double-check my defense. So, yeah, let's spread these out a bit. Let's put an emperor up there. We got one protecting mum. We're going to put a normal scorpion... Up the top, the big mantis protecting mum and the middle mantis, I guess, just in the middle. We'll assign all of those and then hopefully we can defend our base should we get attacked while we're gone. Oh, we can also choose where to put our ants as well. So yeah, we'll have some ants on the surface. We'll have a load protecting mum. We'll have a load in the middle. Nice. Okay, next up, we're going We're going in for another attack. We got, we got two more battle coins, so may as well use them up. So tour of 41, you're in trouble, mate, because I'm, I'm literally going to spawn everything. So Emperor, Mantis, Emperor, Mantis, Scorpion. <laughs> Look at this mess on screen. You are in trouble, Tura41. All right, they got a two-star Mantis as well. But, I mean, look how much, look how many ants I've got. It's just, it's a bloodbath. All right, attack him. There you go. All right, he is dead. Now we're heading downstairs. There's, ah, oh, there's a tarantula. All right, so it's eating me. No, kill it, kill it, kill it before it kills me. Oh, no bad. <laughs> All right, that didn't work out great. Thankfully, we're all still alive. Let's go back in. It does look like whilst I was dead, they did kill the tarantula. Good work, guys. There is... Oh, God, they got a two-star emperor. Attack. Kill it. Oh, man, emperors are strong. They have just about killed it, though. Uh, did we take any damage? I think all those, all those health bars are full. We're, like, invincible. Oh, my goodness. They got a butterfly. All right, that's it, guys. Get involved. Take them down. Oh no, our emperor has taken some damage. Still, attack the queen, attack the butterfly. Butterfly is down, didn't really stand a chance. And nice, we get three pheromones for that. But no resources, apparently. Still, I brought glory to architect suck, so I'll say okay. So with our new pheromones, we're going to gain another creature. So, oh, it looks like it's a tarantula. Let's head over there. Now, what we've got to do is convince him that he wants to join the engineering army. So, hello, Mr. Tarantula, would you like to join the engineering army? What do you mean, only if... Uh, uh, he said no. I think he said no. <laughs> All right, we'll try again at night time. Hello, Miss Trench. Have you thought about a career in engineering? What do you mean, only if ants bite your ass? That's a weird... That's a weird... Uh, that's a weird demand. But sure, look, you can see there's one... There's one creeping his way up there. I'll have a little nibble on this end. And nice, he's been added to our engineering army. Which means we can take out Liviv Gologth. Uh, because if we spawn our emperors, these glow in the dark and they look very, very dangerous. Uh, we can spawn everyone else as well as our new friend, the tarantula. Right, come on, guys. Time for a recruitment drive. Hello, blue ants. Have you thought about a career in engineering? <laughs> oh, he's after me. <laughs> no, no, no. Three to me, three to me, three to me. Oh, I just about survived. I just about survived. All right, nice. Recruitment drive is going well. I think there's only there's only 20 people. No, oh, no, look. There's only 14. There's only 14 people left to recruit. So we'll head down into the den. Uh, I feel a bit bad. There's like, there's literally, there's nothing down here. It's just, it's... <laughs> it's just the queen on her own and she's she's now being eaten by everyone okay that was that was quite an easy battle but we got three pheromones and you know what that means yep it means we can recruit another spider that's it a cheeky little nibble and with me cheering on clapping my little hands we've taken out the tarantula which means we can capture it and once mum has churned out a few more soldiers, like these guys, we're then ready to fuse our tarantula to a level two. Will it be successful? No! Oh, what does that mean? Professor Oak says, even if the fusion fails, you have one less creature. Oh, no! Improve your chances by upgrading or spending gems. Well, that's all the knowledge Professor Oak has to share for now. See you soon. It's been a pleasure meeting you, RC. Well, cheers, Professor Oak. It's always, I've always wanted to meet you as well. You bet you quite a nice bloke. Still gutted I lost my tarantula, but 
Hey ho, let's get battling again. So Ahmed Bogey, you're going down, mate. Oh god, he's got he's got loads of loads of mancers. All right, that's it. Attack him. I assume we're winning. I literally can't see what's going on. There's so many creatures on screen right now. <laughs> but uh, we made it inside the colony. There's not too much going on. There is a tarantula down there, but I've just told everyone to attack them. And I assume it's going well. It's literally just absolute carnage. But uh, yeah, their numbers are going down massively. They've only got I think we've got six remaining. And oh, there is there's a tarantula in there. We've got to be careful. We do need to be careful. All right, attack tarantula. And then time to show the blue mum that my mum is the best. Oh, tarantula's straight in there. Not even waiting. Not even waiting for my command. Anyway, attack everyone. Annihilated, but decent. We got a victory. We gained, we gained all those resources. Zero of those, zero of those, zero of those, and zero of those. Wow, that was worth doing. I mean, technically it was a little bit because we, we claimed this quest, which gives us 100 food. Still pretty impressed with how things are going. We've got quite an army now. I do need to, I need to work on my fusion because I gutted a lost tarantula. But yes, for now, I'll say peace, love, and my mom. Bye, guys.